Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop and welcome to another DIY video today. Now you might be noticing I've been doing a few more videos from the workshop recently and that's just because the temperature's coming down in Texas. It's a lot more comfortable to be out here and work uh, in these conditions than when it's, you know, 107 degrees. So anyway, you might notice back here, if you're a subscriber, you might see a couple projects you recognize or a couple previous videos. So first of all, there's this here. This is uh, an amp, a guitar amp that I made from a jewelry box kit. So if you look at this, it's designed to be a little jewelry box. And uh, I built an amp out of it, used one of the amp kits from Cigar Box Junction. You see this little guitar cabinet. So this is the eight inch alligator skin guitar cabinet loaded with a Celestion speaker. I did a video about that recently too, about this one right here. And uh, I had this made from an Etsy seller, custom made with the alligator um, skin on it, faux alligator skin, and then I loaded it with a Celestion 8. Very cool cabinet. Now, if you saw that video, you might remember during the video, I used this amp and I put it next to the cabinet for scale. And I mentioned, I said, oh, that looks pretty good together. I wish this was a head. And then I had like a, a, fl a flash, where I went, oh, wait a minute. Because I want, I can pro, I thought to myself, I can probably make this into a head. And actually, spoiler, I already did. So we have input, gain, volume, speaker, output. So you can now plug in a speaker cabinet into this amp and use it as a head. And the secret here, so I'm going to pop it open for you and show you the inside. And if you look at this, like it doesn't even really look different in there. Um, you notice there's another jack. But if you can see that, I didn't really add any extra wire or anything. Now it comes with a pretty long wire to go from the amp board to the speaker. And I just clipped that wire and you can see it's all wired to this one jack here. Okay. And that allows me to do this. And you might be thinking, well, how could he do that? If he wires that, then, then when he plugs the jack in, the internal speaker is going to keep working as well. Now you could do that if that's what you wanted, but I wanted this. So when you plugged the uh, speaker jack in that it would cut the internal speaker and it's all in the jack that you use. Let me show you real quick. You don't want a standard quarter inch mono jack. You don't want a quarter inch stereo jack. You want one of these and I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this jack has a little shunt there. Do you see that? You've got the standard tip and then the sleeve contact, but you notice there's three wiring posts here, right? So one of them goes to this little shunt here. And you can just kind of see that touching right there. You see there's a little shunt. So let me show you this way. So right here, you see the shunt is touching the tip contact. And if I put a cable in, now you see the shunt has been moved away from the tip contact. See that? So it's broken that normal connection. And then as soon as I pull the cable out, boom, it's right back. So that is how you do this little trick. And what you want to do here when you hook this up, so like I said, you've got three uh, contacts here, three wiring contacts, and one goes to the tip, one goes to the shunt, and one goes to the sleeve. So what you are going to do is, let's keep in mind this way, if you're hooking this up, you've got a positive and a negative coming from your output transformer, or in this case from the IC, but you've got, you know, the power, positive and negative, and then you've got a positive and negative going to your speaker. So your two negatives, you're going to hook them together and hook both of them to the sleeve contact, which in my case is this one right here. Okay, so both negatives go to the sleeve. Then the positive from the amp goes to the tip here. So the positive from the output transformer or the IC or whatever it is, is gonna go to the tip here. And then the, the positive lead that's going to the speaker is going to go to the shunt. And that's how you're gonna wire that up. And then what happens is when there's no jack in here like this, and you can see these two are connected. So the power is gonna go into the, into the tip here, down through the shunt and out to the speaker. Negatives are gonna be connected. Then as soon as you plug the cable in, you're going to disconnect that internal speaker. It's no longer hooked up and now it's only sending power to the jack so you can send it to an external speaker cabinet. So that's how that works. It's very simple and quite honestly, this will work on almost any amp, almost any combo amp that doesn't already have an external speaker jack. So if you have a combo amp, and you've always wanted to be able to use it as a head, this will work on pretty much anything. Now, one thing that I want to note that nobody really talks about when they talk about, uh, you know, doing this mod, there's a few other videos out there where people talk about doing similar mods, but what nobody talks about is because if you think about it, you've always got power going through, you know, on an amp, that output power is being produced. It's going through the speaker and back to the output transformer. And it's always doing a loop, right? So as soon as you plug this cable in, I've now broken that loop. 
it's and now it's going to this jack, but there's nothing to complete it because it's not plugged in yet. Make sure you plug into your your cabinet first, and then into your amp. Do not plug into the amp first and then into the cabinet, especially if it's on, because then you've got power right here. And again, with this amp that produces one watt, probably not a big deal. Um, but additionally, in, in the fact that number one, you could shock yourself or somebody else, but you could also burn out your amp's uh, output transformer if you, if you left it that way for too long. So nobody ever talks about that, but do not plug this in and have nothing on the other end because now all the power of the amp is right here. Okay, don't do that. Anyway, let's do a little demo of this thing so you can see what it does. Okay, since I'm out here in the workshop, I'm just gonna grab one of the cigar box guitars off the wall here. So there's the acoustic volume. Let's go ahead and turn the amp on here. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that. That's with the internal speaker. Now let's go ahead and plug in the external cab without changing anything else. And so I'm not sure how well it's coming through on the camera, but there is a lot more bass and it's a lot louder coming out of this cabinet. So there you have it, folks. That was a quick DIY video on how you add an output jack to almost any combo amplifier, be it battery operated or a big old, you know, 100 water. It doesn't matter. You basically could follow that same process. And the key is you need one of these shunted mono jacks. Folks, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll see you next time.